Okay, let's go through the controller settings for Yolin 90T-H display. You put the power on, uh, then you press plus and minus at the same time to get to the settings. Here you can see the P1, that's the first one. And uh, to get to change the stuff, you press I button from the side. And now you are in the settings for P1, kilometers per hour or miles per hour. You go with plus and minus through the settings. And when you've selected, you press again the I button on the side and it's selected. Then the next one is P2, the voltage, and you can choose 24, 36, 48, choose 48 for this bike, EKX X21. Next one is P3, the pedal assist levels. I use 1 to 3, but you can also use 0 to 3. 0 is the level that uh, there's no pedal assist at the beginning, and the highest is 1 and 9. From level 1 to 9 choices for assist. And uh, you choose uh, one you want by pressing the I button. And next you choose what the level uh, power percentage are. For me, first level 50%, second 74%, and third 100%. Uh, you confirm by pressing the I, but check those because the third one was for me less than 100. Next one is the tire size. Rim is uh, 20 inch, but uh, you want to set it at 24 for this bike. 20 inch tire, fat tire, it's 24 to get the correct speed zone on the display when driving. And the next one, P5, is uh, something to do with the number of speed sensor magnets. I have no idea what the amount of for this bike is, so don't change it if you don't know what you're doing. P6 is the maximum speed limit. Uh, that didn't change anything for me. The 63 is the max, and I tried 25, but it didn't cap the speed. So maybe it works for you, but for me, it didn't. Leave a comment if you know how to make it work. P7 is the controller current limit setting in amperes. Leave it where it is. If you don't know what you're doing, I don't. So I leave it at 20 that it is. And first thing in P8 is the pedal assist sensor direction setting, front or back. Then you have a pedal assist sensor sensitivity setting from 2 to 9, 2 being the most sensitive. Then you have number of pedal assist sensor magnet setting. I would leave it where it is if you don't know what you're doing. P9 is the throttle settings. First one is the throttle 6 km per hour walk boost setting. If you have it on, the throttle will pick up that 6 km per hour so you can walk the bike. And if it's off, then it's just max speed. And here you choose if you want your pedal assist level to affect your throttle. If it's off, you have full power with the throttle all the time. If it's on, then the pedal assist level affects. Here you can set the password for power on on the display, four digits. And here is the automatic sleep time setting. 10 minutes to power down the display if not used to save power. And that's all for the settings. That's all there was, and um, maybe you want to change some, so maybe leave some where they are. If you don't know what they do, don't touch them. For me, for example, the magnet settings, I don't know what they do, so I don't change them. The password maybe helps to protect your bike, makes it slower to start up, but with four digits, you can protect that uh, nobody else can start the bike. And uh, when you're ready, there's the I button again, you press it, hold it a bit longer now this time, 
and uh, it will show you a bit like a startup view and uh, every setting you'd made is saved and active leave the link to the manual where you can read all this stuff and more and uh, really if you know more about it tell in the comments and uh, maybe we can all learn a bit more thank you again and uh, see you around